What's going on Pokemon trainers and friends? It's your boy Cal Life here bringing you another Pokemon Unite video. Today we are going to be discussing a beginner guide that I went ahead and put together to make sure everyone is ready for Pokemon Unite when it releases on July 21st. Now if you are new to the channel, please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe as it does help the boy grow and also because I am your one-stop shop for all Pokemon related content. Now let's get into it. What is Pokemon Unite? That is probably the question that a lot of people is asking right now, right? If you definitely have not heard anything of Pokemon Unite until now. Well, Pokemon Unite is a 5v5 team battle MOBA that puts five different Pokemon on a team against another team of five. The main objective is to be the team with the most points for the win. So let's say you are playing Pokemon Unite and your team ends up with 400 points, right? And your opponent ends up with 390 points. You are going to win because you had more points than the opponent's team. So that's one thing. Now you may be asking, hey Cal, how do you get more points? Well, it's simple. To obtain points, you will have to dunk or score points in a goal after defeating either wild Pokemon or enemy Pokemon. Wild Pokemon are NPCs found on the map that give experience towards your Pokemon. This also helps your Pokemon either acquire new moves or evolve if um, appliable. So let's say for instance, when I say if appliable, let's say you have a uh, Froakie, right? Your Froki will go ahead and evolve into its second state. Um, and then from there, it will evolve into its final form being Greninja. Now, um, that is one way. However, there are certain Pokemon such as Pikachu who doesn't evolve. Now, I know you're saying, hey, Cal, Pikachu does evolve. Yes, I know it evolves into a Raichu, but in Pokemon Unite, it does not have an evolution. It's the same thing for Lucario. Lucario is a Pokemon that um, comes from Riolu, the baby form. However, in Pokemon Unite, there is no Riolu. It's just Lucario. And same thing for Pikachu. Now, um, I also want you to realize that in Pokemon Unite, during the last two minutes of the match, you are granted double EXP. That's right. Um, double points to go ahead and cash in and score so at the last two minutes you can go ahead and score and that can possibly boost you up and get you to win if you were able to score it before your opponents so do keep that in mind it's like a little mini comeback that you can get from behind now I've been in matches to where I've been able to make comebacks with my team and I've also been in matches to where an opponent's team has been able to make comebacks against me so to keep that in mind now you may be asking oh well huh if it's a MOBA what type of Pokemon Rose do they have well that's simple in a Pokemon Unite there is the attacker role which is Pokemon whose kit is made just to deal damage against enemies uh, some Pokemon um, are Pikachu Greninja and Cinderace another is the speedster role which is Absol Talonflame and Gengar. Now, speedster roles are Pokemon that travel the map fast and can get in some quick damage as well. Then you also have the Defender role. What are Defenders? Defender Pokemon are Pokemon that are tanky and they can take a lot of hits and help out the team. Those Pokemon are Crustle, Slowbro, and Snorlax. Um, and then finally, um, we have Supporter roles, which is known as uh, Pokemon that support um, the team. Uh, whether it's being with heals or um, setups and debuffs, which is Crustles, um, which is Mr. Mime, Eldegoss, and Wiggly Tough. And the last row that we have is called the All Around the Row, which is Pokemon that excel in both offense, defense, and support, which could be Lucario, Garchomp, and Machamp. Now, the Pokemon I named are not just the only versions of these rows for all of them, but um they're just some examples now uh from there we're gonna be moving on to the move set now 
how does the move in the move sets work? Well, at level one, you choose one of two moves to use, right? And then once you get to level three, you can learn the move you chose not to learn at level one. And then from there on, from level four to six, choose one of the two new moves. And then from level seven to nine, you get to choose one of two other new moves, right? Finally, you get to level nine to 10, which is where you gain your final move, which is called a Unite move. What is the Unite move? Your Unite move is basically your ultimate move that you're able to go ahead and perform. And then at level 11 and up, you gain small upgrades to your two main moves. So for instance, right, let's say you have um, a Snorlax. Snorlax uh, literally has the moves glut, um, tackle and rest. Now, uh, that is one of the moves that he has at level one. So let's say you go ahead and take tackle at level one. Then um, at level three, you go ahead and get the rest move. Then from there, you will be um, able to learn two new moves, which is heavy slam or flail. So you get to choose which one you uh, want to go ahead and take. And then finally, at level eight, you get another two moves, which is either block or yawn. So those were the moves you'll be acquiring until you finally get to your Unite move, which is known as Power Nap. Um, that is how that works when it comes to move and move sets, right? Finally, we move on to uh, lane positions. So what is a lane position? A lane position is simple. It is literally where um, you choose whether you want to go top, bot, or jungle. Now, what is the difference? Well, if you go ahead and do top, it's literally the top half of the map. And in the top is where you can acquire higher points. Do keep in mind that in the top half, um, it features a Rotom right rotom is able to grant you higher points for your team and if you get the last kill you get an additional um 30 points and you get an instant um scoring when it comes to uh using it right now if you are planning to go top as of right now it seems the best road suited for that would be attackers and defenders together so you want to partner if you're if you want to play top make sure you try to partner with some attackers and defenders um and now we move on to jungle now what is the jungle usually in mobiles it is a middle section but however um in this particular mobile there isn't really a middle section so we just um have a jungle section now the jungle is where you see a lot of wild pokemon that give a lot of experience per fight for wild Pokemon. So you get more uh, X XP there. So what you usually wanna do is you wanna use the speedster Pokemon because with the speedster, you can go ahead and kill these Pokemon real quick, move on to the next wild Pokemon. And then if you see that the top or the bottom is in assistance, you go ahead and assist those, um, those lanes before moving back to where you um, were, which would be in the jungle. Now, um, for instance, now for bot, right? The bot is where you go ahead and get higher XP with your Pokemon. So usually you want to use um, all around or support together to go ahead and get that. And there, there is a Dreadnought. Now the Dreadnought, if you go ahead and kill it, it provides you with a shield for you and your teammates. And on top of that, um, it provides uh, a lot of XP as well. Now we can move on to the items and battle items. Now, what are held items and how do they differ from battle items? Well, it's simple. Held items are items that are equipped on a Pokemon before a match starts. You can equip up to three different items that can be upgraded to levels 10, 20, and 30, right? So once you go ahead and get it to level 30, it is maxed out for that item. These items are unlocked. Um, these item slots are unlocked at level uh, seven, and for the first slot and for the last slot, level ten, right? Combining up to three slots in total because the first slot you already have unlocked by default. Held items um, in the beta were able to be purchased from the Aerial Smart, 
with either 1,000 Aerials Cones or 625 Aerials Tickets. These items really um, help when it comes to building your build for your Pokemon because they're more of a passive. So you don't have to activate anything. They're already activated as you're already in the game and playing a match. Now, held items different differ from battle items because battle items are items which you can only bring one in per match with you and this item is uh able to be consumed with a cool that has a cooldown to it some examples of a battle item is a potion which goes ahead and heals you or a full heals which removes um some debuffs and a uh, or a jack button which is able to where you can use it to get away from your enemies now um, some tips i would like to offer you guys is when you go ahead and score you get an invincibility uh frame for a brief time which then actually heals you so keep in mind that during fire fights sneaking away to score may just provide you with necessary heal boost to survive also keep in mind Pokemon types and elemental attacks do not follow the same rules as in core Pokemon games. For instance, if you go ahead and use a Pikachu to attack um, a Cremorant, which is a water flying type, you're not going to go ahead and get a double or super effective. It's going to deal the same amount of damage as it will as it would deal to either a Talonflame or a uh, Charizard or a um, Snorlax. Or nine tails there will be no increased damage right now um, if you are new to a MOBA I will offer this some terminology um, a lane what is a lane lanes are primary paths found in in the match and where um, these lanes are to be defended so for instance you go ahead and defend your lane which features your goalposts um, then we have zoning Zoning is where you harass an enemy and prevent them from entering a certain space. So usually you want to go ahead and zone an enemy from getting away. Um, and that way, if they're trying to get back to their base and heal, you can go ahead and um, zone them out and kill them. Right. Then we have CC, which is also known as crowd control, which is when any and all moves and abilities that slow, stun, freeze, or immobilize an enemy movement slash abilities. So usually Pokemon like Ninetales provides a good uh, crowd control because it can slow down an enemy. Um, and then uh, we have the jungler, which is what I explained above. The jungler is a member of the team that is responsible for killing um, other Pokemon in the jungle and also gain EXP from the wild Pokemon. It also excels in helping other lanes. So if you see another lane in trouble, you want to, as a jungler, you want to go ahead and assist that lane and then go back to what you are doing if you are able to. Um, then you have a ADC, which is known as attack damage carry. This mostly refers to Pokemon in Unite that are attackers, right? They go ahead and help with um, getting kills and carrying and doing the most damage that they can to help the team. Then we have our tanks, which is basically Snorlax and them, like all the Defender Pokemon, which help with uh, team fights by taking all the aggro, which is all the uh, damage. And that way you're able to go ahead and basically save yourself from uh, save yourself from being attacked with any of the t by the tanks there. And then we have ganks. What is gank? A gank is when you uh, you and a you and um, teammate Pokemon go ahead and ambush uh, enemy Pokemon and hurry up and killing them by hiding in either the grass or coming from behind, right? So those are some of the terms um, I wanted to offer you. Now there is more terms, but I, this is a beginning, guys. So I didn't want to go into too much detail. Hopefully this helps you guys. Once again, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, do not forget to go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe, as it does help me. And I hope that this guide can help you guys um, become the best Pokemon Unite players in the world. Um, and I hope everybody has a wonderful day. This is Cal Life signing out. See ya.